Can we start over? All right. Hey guys, Adam here. April 1st, Wednesday, go and do the workout, all right? Uh, we'll go through the warm up real quick, but we're gonna do some four movements, two rounds each, shoulder cars or controlled articulations and rotations. So what I'm gonna do here, really simple, is I'm just gonna be real slow going through some arm circles, all right? So normally we say, hey, arm circles, right? All I'm gonna do is just control throughout this whole range of motion, all right? And I'm just gonna bring this all the way around, Okay, and then I'm gonna go back the other way. So we'll do about 15 seconds forward, 15 seconds backward, right? And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. So again, controlled articulations, rotations. Then we're gonna go into some alternating leg V-ups just to get our core moving a little bit. But we did this last week in the workout. I'll come up, touch an opposite, or sorry, both hands to one foot, right? 30 seconds there. We'll pop on up into a reverse plank. If I can do this with my legs straight, great. I'm just gonna bring my hips up. And then when I'm here, what I can do is kind of rock back and forth a little bit. Yeah, we're just trying to open up our shoulders, this internal rotation. If this is really hard for me, what I can do is bend my knees and just bring my heels in a little bit closer. All right, if I can't control that core position, this be more like a tabletop bridge. 30 seconds here. And then we're gonna flip on over and we're gonna go down dog, pushing on back, just into my Spider-Man position, right? Sink there for a second, down dog again sink into the other side, and we'll just go 30 seconds in. Now we're gonna run through that sequence twice, just to get ourselves moving, and then we're gonna go into this first piece. So it's every two minutes, for 18 minutes, three sets. We're gonna do two single arm, single leg movements. So these are gonna be both sides are done within the two minute interval. First one is gonna be a half, kneel, half kneeling omel press, okay? So all this is, so if we're in our half kneeling position, our knee is under our hip, which is right under our shoulder. I'm gonna press through the top of my ear, right? So that's my half kneeling press. With the Arnold press, right, if we have a dumbbell, it's gonna be starting out in this position, right? So there's gonna be a rotation to this. So I'm here, I'm gonna rotate, press on through, hold for a second, and then it's one, 1,000, two, 1,000 back down. Yeah, so with the dumbbell, I'll press up, hold for a second, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, pause. Up. Hold, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, right? So it's eight to 10 each side. If I'm doing that tempo, so two, one, X, one, four seconds of rep should take me about 40 seconds to finish one side. If I don't have any kind of load, I will try to find something around the house that will allow me to press here. Doesn't really even have to be heavy. So the more that I can kind of slow this down, hold this up overhead, try to stay tight through the middle, right? The harder it's gonna be. I could also do, let's say I have a band. I can do this where I just place the band right under my kneecap, okay? Starting in that same position and then just pressing through the top of my ear, holding one 1,000, coming back down, okay? Press it up, back down. What feels easy for the first couple of reps by the time you get to eight to 10 should feel tough. I'll do that on one side, do it on the other. Once the next two minute interval starts, I'll go into a single leg RDL. So, a couple options, one, is going to be the full version, which is where I reach back with my leg. So I start with a, with a bend in this knee, I reach back with that back leg, and then my chest, right, always stays up, but think about it's like my head, my shoulder, my heel, all making a straight line. So let's say I have a dumbbell. I can do this holding both sides of the dumbbell. I'll reach back, one, two, three, coming back up, all right? One, two, three. Come back up. I can do that with a kettlebell. I can do that with a pair of dumbbells, okay? If I can't find the balance there, what I'll do is keep this back leg like a kickstand, so up on the toe. Same thing, right? My hip shift back, back stays flat, and here's my position, all right? Same thing, I'm just keeping this foot here for balance. Most of the weight should be in this front leg. So it's three seconds down, one up, pause at the top, six to eight each side. So again, doing the math here, about 40 seconds of work on each side, and then I'll get that extra 40 seconds to rest or the transition between. Third station is gonna be reverse snow angels. So I'm flat on my stomach. If I have an ab mat maybe to elevate, that would be great, but I don't necessarily need it. I'm just gonna keep my arms off the floor and I should feel like I'm keeping my shoulder blades back and down, right? So I'm coming down, bringing my pinkies toward my butt, 
and then I'm going to try to keep my arms as straight as possible, come up to touch my thumbs at the top. Back and forth. I usually think in my head, maybe like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, we're going to go for 60 seconds working that reverse snow angel. If you have something really, really light, you could hold it there, but most folks don't need any weight. Okay, so it's three sets through that. All right, so a little push pull, all this action. Then we're gonna go into an EMOM for 20 minutes. We have four stations, we're doing it five times. First station is gonna be one Turkish get up with each arm. So, again, if I have a weight, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, great. If I don't, I could do something that's really just gonna challenge the position here. So, what I'll do here, boom take my shoe off, something that if I'm going to drop it, it's not going to crush my face. Okay? I'll make a fist. This would be the toughest variation. What I want to try to do from here, yeah, up to my elbow, up to the hand, hips up, knee underneath, rotating forward, and then once I'm here, I can look forward and just come up out of that lunge. Alright? Coming back down, knee to the floor, once I bring my hand down, I look back up at the object, I shift that back out, coming on down. We want them to be done that smooth, okay? So it should take you at least 10 seconds to finish each rep. Take a little break between one arm and the other. Again, it's one each arm within that minute. And then we go into 40 seconds of bent over row. So this is going to be, again, assuming like maybe we have one object, and if we don't have a dumbbell, kettlebell, something like that. We can use any kind of load. This could be, again, a backpack with some load into it. I'm just gonna do it, let's say, if I have one dumbbell, because it's 40 seconds. So even if this is light, 40 seconds of work is gonna add up. I'm gonna hinge over, and then all I'm doing is pulling this up to my chest and back down, okay? The lighter this is, the more I try to focus on maybe pausing at the top, holding that position, and the, the purpose here is to feel like I'm just pulling straight through the center of my body, like I could squeeze my shoulder blades right there, all right? It's gonna be 40 seconds here, up and down. If I have a barbell, I could do it with that. Perfect, awesome, okay? Then we'll go into 40 seconds of a floor press. So I'm gonna get flat onto my back. I can use the same object. I'm gonna come down to my elbows touch, extend on out, all right? And if this is really light, okay, again, we can try to think about squeezing at the top, maybe pausing at the top and the bottom. I could also make this a little tougher by bringing my hips up, okay? So I'm here in this hip bridge, same idea. Pressing down, pressing up, down, up, all right? It's 40 seconds of work. So again, if it feels easy in the first 20 seconds, that's okay, it's gonna add up. And then the last minute, we're gonna do 20 seconds side plank each side. So elbow right under the shoulder, I'm holding here. A little more advanced option is the star plank. So I'll raise that leg up, bring that arm up, right? Now I'm working with that abductor, or an abductor trying to keep this up, right? I'm really bad at these, but hey, I'm working on it, okay? 20 seconds one side, 20 seconds the other, and then we'll flip it on back to the Turkish ghetto. So we're gonna do some live versions of this on Zoom. We'll hit you up with the times, we'll lead everybody through everything. If you're not sure, hit us up with questions, all right? We'll try to help you out if you need any movement subbed in or anything like that. Uh, thinking about this, like if you were using a barbell for the whole thing, maybe we could do some other variation here on the press. But either way, let us know. Have a great workout. See you soon. Later.